Hello everybody and welcome back to another instalment of Optic Nerve, my series to help people in the BVI community. So what I thought I would show you today is how to simply prepare some vegetables. So when I lost my sight in 2008, uh, obviously everything changed for me. But I went on a course in 2009 uh, and it was a cookery course for the blind at a local college and that's where I was taught how to prepare and cook healthy meals whilst having no vision. So you taught the basics by you, the sensory team that handles your rehabilitation but if you want to you know get more involved and be more passionate about cooking you can go on courses for the blind that will help you develop your culinary skills anyway what i first need to just explain to you is i'll just get my knife now this is my fi favorite knife that i use for most things and the importance of a sharp knife can't be understated if you have a blunt knife you will need to press harder and pressing harder that's when things start to slide around you lose control and accidents can happen and before anyone thinks oh he's got a plaster on his thumb uh, he's he's had a practice and injured himself no what it is is a few weeks ago i walloped this thumb i am always walloping this thumb uh, I severed a nerve in it about six years ago messing around with a, a Stanley knife and I've hit it and sliced it I haven't done it today but my thumbnail is looking a bit unsavoury so I've just hidden my thumbnail but it's because I walloped it with a hammer in the garage nothing to do with cooking so yeah the importance of a sharp knife so there are things like this uh, which have carbide wheels in and you draw the knife through uh, which will sharpen your knife but I have got and uh, I was given to this by my uncle Alan who was a butcher since 14 years of age and he's now a civil servant uh, as, a, as a meat inspector but he gave me this proper chef's butcher steel so I always just nice about 22 degrees I do it this way because it's safer for me Hi, I'm back, sorry about that phone when it was Charlie so uh, yeah where was that so yeah you obviously a lot of people give it all this sort of stuff I wouldn't recommend that I would just take it nice and slowly and that way you're always moving the blade away from you so just a few strokes on the steel nice and slow and just get a nice keen edge on that so important you always have a sharp knife so what I'm first going to demonstrate here it's nice and easy it's a carrot so you just need to keep your hand well clear and just I just trim both ends off and then you get one, one of these speed peelers make things a lot easier and then obviously as, as I'm cutting I can feel with my thumb the, the fresh exposed carrot flesh so as it's rotating I can feel, just have a quick feel and then I know that I've been all the way around and got everything so the great these peel is making so much easier so that's peeled now so cutting a carrot is quite easy what you need to do is obviously this helps rock I use the heel of the blade it's more efficient keep your fingers well away and you use a nice controlled chopping action like that 
you, you don't want to rush and you don't want to be you see there I'm having to apply a lot of force nearer to the point and then it's it's just a lot more effort so at the heel use the knife as a lever so it's amplifying the force and then you will obviously stay well clear of your fingers when you get to that end bit and then uh, if you do want to cut that last thicker chunk there's a method and it's called the tunnel method and you will hold either side of a vegetable what you're doing there so your hands are well clear and then you use that as a guide and you will cut it in the middle so I'll just do that because I'm right handed so there you go so that's quickly and easily peeling and chopping a carrot nice and safely so what I'm going to show you now is in fact just let me get let me get a bowl so I can get rid of this and I can eat that carrot later so it's not going to go to waste Okay, so I've got an onion here now, so how I do this, and again remember this is just my way, it's not a definitive way, it's my way and it works, so I trim either end of the onion, just push that out of the way, and then standing on one of the flat ends I put the knife in about 5 millimeters and cut all the way through and then I can get a corner of the the paper and the skin that I just want to peel back and that will expose the onion so let me just push that in there too so again using the tunnel method like this yeah cut clean through the onion and one thing I forgot to mention is this chopping board it's on a damp dishcloth so it's under there, hope you can see that. It's under a damp dish cloth, so uh, things are stable and don't slide about. So, I've got here a fork. So, you use the fork prongs as a guide. So your hands are well clear, so you cut through there like that and then you go through there like that And you just reposition the onion again, find one of the gaps, cut down, find another gap, cut down, and so on. And then you just, I just chop like that. In fact, it's probably best to keep one hand well out of the way. And I just chop and every now and then I just pull everything into the middle again and just continue to chop. So it's, it's not rocket science, it's all about taking your time and just using some simple techniques, keeping your hands away, having a sharp knife, use a fork as a guide, very handy uh, and always make sure that your chopping board is on a non-slip surface. 
damp dishcloth, damp tea towel, ideal, although you can get the non-slip mat in. So that's basically it for the first cooking. The same rules apply to potatoes, apples, fruit, most things and there's no reason why you can't safely cut and prepare vegetables and you know you can make beautiful soups and you can do oven roasted vegetables and things like that but I just thought I'd show you an introduction to just quickly and safely peeling and preparing vegetables when either you're losing your sight or you have no sight but you'd like to have a go at something a bit more uh, intense and a bit different so thank you so much that's uh, Optic Nerve cooking episode one <laughs> so thank you so very much speak to you all soon bye